They're already demons. <laughs> I'm gonna mute it in the stream. <laughs> you hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Yeah, I really feel like this. Celica enchanted exactly them herself. Just... They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. <laughs> it's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister. And you're a student. <laughs> How many days we got to spin at this fucking tree? On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Okay, so we got a little bit of Sasuke going on. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cave. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Reading is for faggots. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. What? Arthur! Done chopping firewood? I assume we ate yeah. it. Yeah. Enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickled boars, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? 
MacArthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in a spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? This cutscene is right. Whatever. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Rest up. Don't forget to take some gels with you. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. You better be. Where the freak do I get these so-called gels at? Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna head out. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. since the opening seven years ago. This world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, Brrrap. demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Yeah, dude's kind of a dickhead. Turn the light on. Charger for my watch. Been on my workout grind again. Uh, I wasn't streaming on Twitch when I was 
Probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations. Before the first strike, yeah, I got you. Is that feeling bad? No, not yet. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like, that sounds terrible. Thanks, but we'll be fine. And before he came, so, so now I have. You sound just like your sister. I do? The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Imp who are the Imperians. The four Imperians created the world. Be afraid. When contradiction per are you okay? No. Don't All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you don't fall into the shrine of tranquility, right? I know. I of course, of course. I'm six. Quest, hopefully, get some uh, combat in. I saw a group of dozens of demons real close to town. If they attack, we're done for. I th Run? To where? We have nothing to worry about. Arthur, huh? 
They say he used to be one- And only exorcists can defeat demons. Yeah, we've all heard the fairy tales. So of all the swindlers who pose as ex- Hey! Uh if he was a real exorcist, why- That's because- Besides, Arthur is just an outsider who drifted- Then you must think we're outsiders too- uh, Back to business. You're right. We've got to- That's what it comes down to. Save the dreaming of- What is it? of it there's been so much going on that does it i'll cook him up some prickle boar stew a healthy portion of nourishing meat cures This area looks promising.
That's how it's done. Should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. <sighs> this pl I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She w well. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? 
Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Uh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think- I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me.
Diego, here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my this feelings. Is <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Luffy must be starving by now. I better hurry home. Orthy and Russ seem pretty- I know! They've been whipped- Well, they- The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them- They're hopeless! Whenever it's thundering- Orthy? Russ? <coughs> They're completely ho- Maybe... Celica taught you how to make your- Yeah, don't be modest! That's because there's a secret- You should try selling- We could make them together! Would it make more money? Definitely, maybe! Even more than it might be, I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy wind. Oh, don't be so boring. Think big? No thanks. I w You're imp. Then again. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. 
What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Lafayette. set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? There you go. Not spy. Oh, yeah. I saw Nico. T She's coming over in the next. I will. Yeah. Still. Nico. Laffy. You know, if there's a girl. Uh, hmm. You're a stubborn little. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. Knock it off, Vel. Me? I, I. For one thing, I've got the sides getting crushes. <coughs> <gasps> Laffy, what's wrong? Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I've got a duty to look after my- I know. I want you to be- and it's not just me. Well? Yeah. Thanks, Lafayette. This dialogue is pretty For cool. you, I'd kill every last- <sighs> What am I do- I need to hurry and- Good boy. 
You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. major event I'm gonna cut the stream but we probably have to go until the scarlet night hey has Luffy set been here uh no I haven't seen him One of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. I told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Is this okay? Velvet! I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick fly. Have you seen Luffy's? Nope. All right. Let me. Got it. Is he? Well. He refuses to s- I can't say I'm surprised. He likes reading difficult books. When only one kid in a- You're exaggerating. It's a shame. If he could go to school- The capital? Isn't- No way. Not happening. He can handle it. He's actually a- I couldn't handle it.
she just respond, but... the other woods that he's in. Oh, you know what? The cape is probably that weird-ass place with the hole. Hey, Velvet! Did you hear the news? I remember the moon turned... It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watch... According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects... You sure know... Luffy said taught me. Just... You saw Luffy? Actually... Aww. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! likely be some kind of shit at the cape, so just gonna keep running until I get there. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well... If they didn't, they couldn't catch food. 
or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... A demon! Luffy says, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Why is a demon here? I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! Not fun to Please! Go! Arthur said, I have to do this! Stop! Face me, demon! I get home. Velvet! Luffy, you're all right. Ugh. Sorry, it's all my fault. No, if you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! Alright, I'm gonna... Text this chip back real quick.
is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy! No! The village! Safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucky's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? Go. This is an offering to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you do not change. Ever a slave to emotion. Got no hands.
demon that feeds on demons. Arthur. Atherian. Take a look around. <laughs> Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance.
Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Ha! Burning wing! Ha! Ha! Here I come! If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Here I come! If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now, throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior.
<laughs> With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Alright, we're gonna stop the stream here. This game is pretty sick. Thanks for tuning in, people.